Very exciting news. So if you did not know, which I don't know how you could, my favorite girl, author girl boss is Melissa Storm. Now, Melissa Storm writes cozy mysteries under the fabulous name Molly Fitz, and I love all of her books as well. So she has a really great course on how to write a cozy mystery, but it's not just how to write, it's how to write and market it. So I know a lot of people talk about writing to market. She just talks about how to pick a really great subgenre niche to make sure that it's profitable, it's something that people want to read, and also how to do that research on your own. And she never says also that you have to write to market, but if you wanted to, then she gives you all the tools on how to do that. So very exciting news is that we have teamed up to create a workbook for you. So the course was so fabulous and amazing. And as you know, I make workbooks for my graphic design business, Pretty Fabulous Designs, and we decided to just put the two together. So it is over 100 pages. It's packed full of good stuff. It does a little bit of note taking from the actual course so you kind of know what's going on, but it also has a ton of blank spaces to answer all of the prompts inside of the course, as well as some extra prompts for you to put some of your own thoughts in there, as well as space to write some notes. So very excited to talk about that today. <laughs> I'm Lisa, author of the Frosted Misfortunes Cozy Mystery Series from Whiskered Mysteries, which is an imprint from Melissa Storm. So on this channel, we talk all about mysteries, whether those are books, TV shows, or movies. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Tuesday. So today, though, we're going to talk about the amazing, fabulous, cozy workbook that Mar Melissa and I partnered together to create for you. So I'm just going to talk about logistics. We're just going to talk about how to print it out how to get it, first of all, how to print it out, and then how to use it. So first of all, if you are already in the Cozy Mystery course, you already purchased that from Melissa using my link below or just purchased it in general, then you should have already received an email giving you directions on how to purchase that notebook separately. Now, everything is on the Author Engine website, which is hosted on Teachable as of now. And so you can get everything in one spot. So once you've purchased that, just go inside there, download that PDF. Now, really, really important, when you open that PDF, sometimes on your browser, it really depends on your computer and how your settings are, are your preferences are set up. It might open that PDF in your browser. Do not, I repeat, do not print it from your browser. It's going to be much easier if you print it from Adobe Acrobat. Adobe Acrobat is free to download. Uh, it works on pretty much every platform. So I don't know anybody who doesn't have Adobe Acrobat, but what you want to do is save that file, download it, and then open it inside Adobe Acrobat. Now, once you open it inside Adobe Acrobat, you're gonna have many more printing options. So I'm going to walk you through a little dialogue screen right now because it is 100, over 100 pages, so you might want to double cite it to save on pages, or maybe that's just how you like to read things. But if you don't like doing that, uh, you can definitely do single sided. Uh, but I would definitely go out, get a three hole punch or buy three hole punch paper, which actually is much easier. I don't know why more people don't buy three hole punch paper. There is paper out there that is already punched for you. Anyways, so once you have that, I would get a binder and then stick it in there and then you can follow the course. So let's look at that print dialogue together really important, I can't emphasize this enough, you're going to have to use Adobe Acrobat. Now, Adobe Acrobat is free. I have the premium version, the pro, so that's why I might have a little more bells and whistles over here, but the free version 100% will work just fine. You don't need, this is just for editing. So uh, open this in Adobe Acrobat. Do not, under any circumstances, try to print this from a browser because sometimes, I don't know why so the uh, the margins or the pages are just a little off. And I would hate for you to think there's something wrong with this file when there is not. Um, so I'm gonna show you some wages, ways to save on paper and toner ink when printing this because you'll notice, this is a vintage cover also, so <laughs> you can ignore this, but um, you'll notice that there's a lot of beautiful, fabulous, very happy, wonderful colors inside of this uh, workbook. And because of that, it's going to eat up a lot of ink on your printer. So if you are okay with that, which I always am because I just like color. Um, but if you're not, I'm going to show you a couple different ways that you can uh, get by without doing that. So over here in Adobe Acrobat, you're going to go to file 
and you're going to go to print. Now remember your print dialog box may look a little different depending on what kind of options your printer is able to do, but mine is a color LaserJet Pro. You're going to make sure you say all pages, uh, fit pages. I wouldn't do actual size unless you actually have a printer that can do uh, full page bleeds and that's something you really enjoy. Uh, but otherwise, if you need to save on paper, I am able to duplex so I could do the print on both sides because my printer is able to do that and leave this flip on the long edge, which basically just means if you do a three hole punch in your pages, then you can put it in a binder and then flip the pages left to right and it will look fine. Flip on the short edge really means it's almost like you have a legal pad and you're gonna flip the top page up and you want it to see uh, seem like it's in the right orientation from being all the way up. So that, I. I actually never seen anyone do that. So I think you just want to keep it over here and leave it on portrait. Um, page setup, you might have some different items or options in yours. Mine doesn't have any other options except to change like paper size. But since this is eight and a half by 11, I really don't need that. I'm just going to leave that as is. Now, like I said, this is a lot of colors. So one option is to go here and click print and grayscale. And then if I look through this little preview, I'm gonna see that it's gonna take away the colors and it has now made them all black and white. So then I don't use as much ink or maybe your black ink is less expensive than all of the colors. Uh, and then over here, another option too, is you could do multiples. So even if your printer can't duplex or if it can't duplex and you wanna save even more uh, pages, you could do multiple and you could print two pages per sheet. Now that's the most I would go down to. I know over here you could do four pages, but quite honestly, Honestly, this is a workbook where you are going to be writing in it. So if you write super, super itty bitty tiny, then yeah, maybe you could do four pages, but most of us probably write normal and one page already is like stretching it. So two, I would say would be the max. And then you can see over here, it only uses up 53 pages. So I hope that was helpful. All right, so this book is workbook is arranged by sections that correspond with the sections inside of the course. You'll notice each time you get to a new lesson, it will be a new color. So that then you can know that everything that is in blue kind of go, corresponds with that lesson. And then everything in orange corresponds with the next one, pink, uh, red, purple, and so on. So that's why the color coding is there. The colors don't actually correspond to anything specifically. It was just kind of random colors that we picked to kind of break up the workbook. Now, here's what I would do uh, if I were you. I know everyone gets into a course and you're like, I'm gonna do this whole thing all at once. So you can buy the workbook without buying the course. If you did that, you probably just wanna sit down and just go through from beginning to end. If you purchase the course, which is what I highly recommend because it will give it more context, uh, is that you go through, open up your workbook to the section that corresponds with that particular lesson, look over the questions inside of the workbook that will give you an idea of kind of what's in the lesson. And then as you go through it, you can start filling everything out in that workbook. Now, keep in mind, there are extra pages at the end on notes that you can just kind of slide in there so that they fit within um, that same section. So in case you're like, I don't have enough space to write, because everybody's different, then we put some extra pages in there at the end so you can just slide those in anywhere you want inside of that book. Obviously, if you did two-sided, it might be a little hard to put it in the right section. So that could be a rationale for just doing one-sided printing, as well as the fact that if you have a printer that does not duplex, having to feed things in and then take them out and refeed them to do the other side can be a little bit of a like mind puzzle. I don't know why I'm like, where's the top? Where's the bottom? Does it face down? Does it face up? I don't know why. I find it very difficult. So my computer, my printer luckily duplexes, but if it didn't, I would definitely just do single pages for everything. All right, so the other thing is, if you are more into the marketing part, so the way the sections are set up, the beginning and the craft part are meant to go in chronological order from beginning to end. They're not really meant to skip around just because of the way the information has been presented. The marketing section though is very much choose your own adventure. So maybe you are very into Facebook, but you're not, you know what? I am so not into um, Instagram or something else that's being talked about in the marketing section, or I wanna run BookBub ads, but I don't wanna do Facebook ads because I've already outsourced that to somebody else. So you could pick and choose the different sections that you wanna go to. Now keep in mind, a lot of those sections, especially when she talks about her book launches, actually have links inside of there that go to other places inside the course. You will have to be a student in that course to 
actually reference those things. So some people who only purchase the workbook, really important to note, you will not have access to those spreadsheets that are part of the course. So another reason that I say it's highly, highly recommended that you buy the course. So the workbook really wasn't meant to, I mean, it can be sold alone, but you know, it really wasn't meant to have all the bells and whistles for the workbook. It's really meant to be an accompaniment for the course. So let's go through, uh, if you need, so the timing. I would try to do one lesson a day, mostly because especially you'll find the first few lessons will be so overwhelming. You'll be like, this is so much great information and now I have to do so much research. I might need a week to do the first lesson, a week to do the second lesson, and then the other ones maybe you can go through in a day. So that would be my recommendation for timing. Now, all right, if you have not purchased the Cozy Mystery Workbook, why not? I will leave all of that information below as well as information on the course. If you're not sure if that's the right course for you, I do have a separate video that goes through all of the Cozy Mystery courses that are out there. I rank them from best to worst. Spoiler alert. Melissa's is the best, it is number one on the list. Uh, but in case you're like, you know, I have different, everyone has different learning styles and maybe there's another course out there that I wasn't too into that you're like, that would be the perfect course for me. Definitely check that out. I will leave links to that below as well. All right, I hope everyone's having a fabulous day and I'll talk to you later, bye.